Suwannee County, the Florida Department of Health reporting 98 cases of COVID-19 and six deaths. But in the midst of the outbreak, the Regional Medical Center in Live Oak is set to close. Our Amber Spradley is there speaking with one resident who depends on that facility for health care. Come the end of April, several health care workers here in Live Oak will be left without jobs as the facility behind me is sold and closes its doors. Shans Live Oak, one of two regional hospitals in north central Florida, now winding down operation in the midst of the COVID-19 outbreak. With this Corona thing going around, uh, I don't believe it's a good time to be closed and that's because it may be needed for that. But that's only my opinion and I'm just one person. Uh, hopefully, uh, people will realize that we really do need this hospital here. Stated in a press release sent out late February, the facility will seize all inpatient and non-emergency operations. Surely not is a Live Oak resident retired from working at this hospital. We're going to be losing a lot of We'll be losing most of our medical facilities here. We'll be, we'll be kind of left with nothing. According to the statement, emergency services are the most utilized service at Shands Live Oak and will remain available. The facility will continue to operate as an emergency room only. All other services, though, will be shut down. We'll have more information as this sale becomes finalized and we hear back from officials. Reporting in Suwannee County, Amber Spradley, WCTV Eyewitness News. We did reach out to HCA for comment along with Shans, which sold the facility to HCA. So far, we have not heard back. We're also waiting to hear back from Live Oak Mayor Frank Davis. Last month, Mayor Davis saying he's very concerned about the effects this will have on the community.